Walter Welch to make it seven. Two for Walter Welch in this final. I went to Wexford, Wexford School to be educated. Um, I'm on the border of New Ross there and I went to Council College in New Ross. Um, Joe Edward would have been the same, he, he would have went there as well from Kilkenny. So I would have been playing against, I would have been in school with the likes of Matthew O'Hanlon who is the current Wexford captain as well. Like, and so it's slightly different, I didn't go to the, the Kieran's College and, but um, we had success in good council as well. I play Gaelic football inside in Cook, in Cook Council as well, so football will be quite strong in there as well. I um, played a lot of rugby as well. I played, played rugby when I was five and I eventually I kind of gave it up when I was about 15 or 16 when it was kind of clashing with the hurling, so you choose one or the other and um, hurling is what I chose, maybe probably because of my family background in, in hurling. I um, play, play golf now, I took up a golf last, last summer again, but I would have played when I was younger as well, so I'm interested in, in all sports really and um, something I love and enjoy as well as hurling, I enjoy a lot of other sports watching him as well. There was a few of us going at the time, Joe Ling and Park Welch, Brian Kennedy, we kind of came in at around the same time and in Nolan Park you kind of have your seat that you sit in and um, I think the first night I, I think I sat in Tommy Welch's seat. You know, with Tommy in the character, like he just came in, sat down beside me, chatted away, like, and I didn't know anything about the, the the seating arrangements at the time. And next thing, I think I found myself near enough Henry Shefflin spot, so I, I eventually sorted a seat for myself. And um, you know, the, the lads, in fairness, were very welcoming to, to younger players, and it's still the same now, which is brilliant. Like the likes of Henry Shefflin, I would be looking at Telly, JJ Delaney, Tommy, all those lads. I would have been, you know, they'd be heroes of mine. And then to to, to, to play with them and have them come over and chat away to you, it's, you know, it's, it's just brilliant and it's, you know, it's, it makes you feel welcome and, 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 and at home at training. His uh, record says, says it all really, it's just, um, you have so much respect for, for him and the management team and I think that's what a lot of it comes down to, just having respect for them and um, just you, you feel you don't, it's not like you're doing a chore or anything like that training or if he gives you a tip you, know, you take it with you and you, you try to, to work on it like that. So he's, it's, it's incredible to to play under Brian Cody and along with the management team that, that he has with him. You know, so it's um, I suppose he's 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 one of the best managers ever. So it's it's great to play under. Him.